you think she would like like Good morning, you guys. Welcome to a new vlog. Today is a Wednesday, and I actually wanted to do like just a day in the life vlog because I don't have to work today because of my dentist appointment, which I'm going to now. So basically, I could have just moved my appointment, but the guy that like does my scheduling as of now basically was like oh is there any other days like that you need off because as you guys know we're going on a cruise so I told them that and then he was like is there any more days and I'm like well I do have a dentist appointment and he was like okay like when is it so basically I am not working today but I'm working Friday so I still like work for tens. I just rearranged my schedule. So that's nice. I've heard like so many people love the schedule because it's always, well, my mom described it as like, it's always a Monday or a Friday. So, you know, Monday and Tuesday, Tuesday's like your Friday cause you have Wednesday off. And then Thursday, Friday, Thursday's like your Monday and Friday is Friday and then you had the weekend. So honestly, I would work with this. I mean, I think I would really like the schedule if it was like my real schedule, because again, I'm like in training orientation. So I'm like with somebody, I'm not alone yet, but I think I would like this. If I didn't get this schedule, then I'd probably want Monday or Friday off just because I don't know. I just, I really like the schedule because I have a third day off in, in a, like a consecutive order. So I really like the schedule, but I also really wouldn't mind just having a three day weekend all the time, whether I get Monday or a Friday off. But then again, my friend Kyra, she was like, I'm debating on just like wanting three twelves because then you get four days off you just stay another two hours like after the 10 hour shift but but in general i like the four tens because number one you get out around five and that's like normal hours like getting off at five just is so much nicer than getting out at seven because of my eating my feeding times i feel like an animal when i say that but yeah i just i personally like getting out at five at my old job when i so when i worked five eighths i would start around nine and i wouldn't even get out of there until six so honestly when i get out at five even though i start like super early in the mornings it's always so fast paced and like it moves really fast so I don't really even like think about starting that early and then we get a break for breakfast and then it's already like lunchtime and I'm like wow so then the rest of the day is like what I perceive like when I'm tired and stuff is like my work day and I get off at um five and that's that's earlier than when I left downtown Orlando before so even though traffic kind of sucks like I really like my schedule. Just on my way to the dentist office. Thank goodness too. This is also a side note. This is kind of like a drive with me, but you know, we love those. I love listening to people. There's this girl, she doesn't really make a lot of content on YouTube anymore, but I've been watching some of her vlogs. She does like long talks and stuff. It's almost like a podcast. So I just like put it on so I have like background noise and it's almost like I'm listening to a podcast. Mainly does like content on TikTok. It's like Kate Chase vlogs. That's I think what her like thing on TikTok is. But what I was gonna say is I got my dental insurance card in the nick of time. Cause like I was walking my dog, decided to get the mail because sometimes I just forget to do it. And I got a package, well not a package, but an envelope with my insurance card. Cause I was gonna say like, they say that we got benefits the first day that we like started. So I was like, I need to find the company or whatever so I can tell my dentist office like, hey, like I do have insurance, I signed up for it. And I was nervous and we like got on my computer to look and see and lo and behold, the insurance card was in that envelope. And I was like, thank God, cause then I can just like go and give them the card today, this morning when I'm there. It would just be like so much better than having to tell them like, oh, I'm with this company and everything. So it just worked out so well. 
Also too, before I forget to show you guys, I got new OR shoes, I told you about them. So I will link down below to get these shoes. They're definitely running shoes. I like wearing running shoes in the OR a lot more. I talked about it in my last video, but so far so good with them. I like them. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. They have this massage thing here. Okay, so just got out of the dentist and basically it only took like 35 minutes and my insurance worked. I think there was like a copay, but it wasn't as bad as last time I went to the dentist. So I got a little goodie bag. We got some Colgate and then we also got uh, just a toothbrush and then we have floss. So probably should keep this floss in my car or in my bag, like my belt bag. But I always just keep these for like if my friends like spend the night and need like a toothbrush and stuff. So now I'm gonna head to Starbucks. Also too, I was gonna do the mobile order for my um, Starbucks drink, but the app is like, I don't know, something's wrong with it. So I don't know what's going on, but I cannot do the like the mobile pre-order. It's like not showing up any locations. So that's annoying. This is crazy. I was driving around for literally like three to five minutes looking for a parking spot. What are these people doing in celebration like downtown? Is like Wednesday a common day off for people? Like what is going on? I was like, I was thinking that it would be like not a problem because it's a Wednesday at 10 a.m. But like that's the longest I've had to drive around for a parking spot in like a while. That's crazy. All right, so we got some live music going on. I think it's at the tavern. I don't really know, but I got my drink and I wanted to try the iced gingerbread oat milk chai. I love gingerbread, I love chai, I like oat milk, so let's give this a swirl and try it. They were like, if you don't like it, you can always just bring it back. And I'm like, I think I'll like it, I hope I like it. I feel like it could use a shot of espresso, but it's still pretty good. I definitely taste the oat milk the strongest and then probably the cinnamon. I feel like I need to like shake it up more. The cinnamon part could be stronger. Like I would do either another shot of chai or I would do like an espresso shot. But overall it's not bad. I got sidetracked. My overall opinion of this drink is it's good but it just like could use a little bit of like something more. I took Sherry and Piper for a little walk and look at my girls. They are just so tired. How was your walk, Sherry? It was great. She it was a little is... warm out, so it was like really hot, but that's yeah. good. It was a little tiring, but that's okay. It was good. Yep, proud of Sherry for taking it one step at a time. Look at your poor knee. One eternity later. Okay, so I'm back at the gym. It's like days later because I stopped vlogging that day. I thought I was gonna just do like a day of my life, but I don't think I have enough footage for that. So I'm just gonna vlog the rest of today and then that'll be the vlog. I'm here at the gym wearing the same thing pretty much. I love this top. It's just like the most comfortable. It's like the Lululemon one. Um, I'll link it down below. And then I have my shoes. These are my new ones because I'm still like kind of breaking them in. And yeah, and luckily I feel like pretty good because I'm trying not to like overeat and stuff like I normally do. And also I was looking at my, um, my steps and I get like around 10,000 steps a day because of work. So we're looking good so far, but I hate that I can't like fool myself like doing the workout. I'm gonna do abs and maybe arms. I'm not sure. I need my music and I can't like do a time lapse on this while listening to music. So I wish that Apple would like do something about that. Um, but anyway, gonna get working out now. And then I might walk for a little bit. It just depends. I made it to lunch. I'm going to lunch with Kyra and then we're gonna walk like to Boxy Park. Well, not walk there, but like walk around Boxy Park. I just wanted something like different. I feel like I always go to Winter Park or like downtown Orlando and I love Lake Nona. It's just like really like nice, cute little area and it's like grown so much. So I suggested this and she was like, yeah, I'm down. So. We're here and I'm at one of my favorite restaurants. It's called Canvas. We're just gonna have a little lunch and it is so hot out. I'm starving. Kyra made it. <laughs> we got a good view. We're in this like, I don't know, windowed area. 
we got a nice view of the lake. All right, guys. Car got a burger. Oh yeah, yeah. And we both got fries. Look at my wedge salad with the chicken. Like, how cool is that? That's insane. I'm a little impressed. Like, it did not used to get served like that. And then Kyra got these beignets. Look at them. So good. How's your burger? Is it good? So I'm showing Kyra the Lake Nona Boxy Park area, like the Lake Nona Town Center, because there's always like events going on. Home for the Brave. Oh, this is Veterans Day. So they're probably gonna do like something fun and they have like all these different restaurants. So I'm glad it's not raining. Yeah. Okay, so after checking out Boxy Park a little bit, it's basically just restaurants. I just wanted to show her, but I am at Disney Springs now. We decided to come here because Kyra wanted to see like Lululemon and the um, like discounts and like merch there. So we decided to come to Disney Springs, which is fine because it's like super close to my house. I didn't have to, it was kind of like on my way back. So I'm like, yeah, like we can go to Disney wow. Springs. So happy because they have their Christmas decoration stuff out. Please feel free to take videos. You can hashtag at Disney Springs and hashtag also at the strolling piano. And uh, uh, let's do a big sing along. Hey, a store that we can kind of afford. Not really. I low key want this ornament because it's the famous anthropology mirror. The one that costs like $1,200. And it's in ornament form and it has like the date on it. You know me and the miniature things. Like, I love that. All right, so they already got their tree up. Tomorrow we are putting our tree up, which is exciting. I feel like it's not too early because it's almost mid-November already. Stopping into free people to look at the other clothes that are expensive, but I don't know. One day, one day I will do like Oh, I don't know, a haul from here and that will be like so much fun. The whole reason why Kyra wanted to come, the Lululemon. The Sherpa belt bags are out, guys. Ooh. I don't know, I feel like I would get it so dirty though. All right, Kyra kind of convinced me, but I'm gonna get this Lululemon tote. It's like really good for um, my workouts and stuff, like a workout bag. And I don't know, I just really like it, at least for spin, even though I canceled my membership. It's just better, and then here on the inside, I love the thickness of the straps, and then on the inside, it's just like an open hole with like a little back pocket. It's similar to the other one, but the other one's just like kind of big and chunky, and this one's more like simplistic, and it's under $50. Like it's only $44 and I get a discount, I think, so. I don't know, I really want it, so I'm just gonna get it and swap out my bags. Kyra, should I sell my other bag? You can have it back out. Yeah. I don't know, I might keep it, and then if I wanna sell it, I can sell it. Yeah. yeah. So, it'll be an option if I do wanna sell it. Kyra, show us what you got here. So she's gonna try on some stuff. She said she's gonna leave with one thing. Yes, and then the same one in white, but it's so soft. Yeah. It. And then, hold on, I don't know how to manage. And then I got this. Yeah, this is material, material is so shirt. soft. Whatever that's really made out nice. of, like, I would want my entire like life to be made out of that. Sorry. And then I have this tank top. And nice. Oh yeah. Also yeah. The same or actually, it's not the same material, but it's like super similar. It's similar, but this is like this one that is softer. softer. You guys know it's a sign when you can't stop thinking about something. <laughs> I went back and I'm gonna get the mirror uh, ornament so I could put it in my stocking. And I'll finally get the anthropology mirror I've wanted, only in miniature version. I was gonna get it and I'm so sad. Yeah, anyway. Oh, also our healthcare worker discounts worked at the Lululemon. I was so excited. Kind of the person. Kyra and I stopped into Francesca's because they're having like a Friendsgiving little thing. Look at their little decor. They have like sales going on. So fun. Also, look at this cute bag from Anthropology. Oh my gosh. Oh, what I was saying about this bag, we had such a good like guest experience in there. The lady, like the checkout girl was like so nice. And also too in Francesca, she was like, oh my gosh, does she vlog? I don't know, we just come across a lot of nice people today. Came into a store I've never actually been in. It's a soap store, Kyra really likes it. I honestly don't even know what it's called, which is kind of sad. Kyra, what store are we in? Uh, I don't know, I don't know what it's called. Oh, okay. It's a soap store. 
Oh, it's this name. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Oh, low. Oh, God, some. I sound dumb. <laughs> okay, so we've come into the store called Shore, and it was funny because Kyra was like, hey, can we come into the store, Shore? And I go, Shore. <laughs> oh, man. I make myself laugh way too easily these days. It's kind of sad, but uh, I think it's funny. And honestly, all this stuff I could totally see Kyra wear. I saw a bandeau, but I'm really looking for like a black bandeau. So then I can wear like a black blazer over it. I think that'll look so cute for like fall brunch. Okay, there's Kyra in a bag form. <laughs> and that's me in a bag form. It wasn't even recording. Sometimes I do that. Okay, so we were gonna drink uh, Wine Bar George, but there was no seating. So we ended up coming to um, the boat house and we we're gonna see outside, but also I wanted to sit inside because I've been sweating a lot. It's like kind of hot out, but kind of not. We finally found seats and the guy was like, oh yeah, like you can sit there and we'll, um, the bartender will be right with you. And I'm like, oh, thank goodness. So. We're just chilling. I wanted to drink outside because it's beautiful, like for the sunset, but also I didn't want like it to start pouring down rain. Even though Kyra did her powers. For dinner, Kyra and I got lobster bisque and wine. So I got a Pinot Noir and lobster bisque and she got the same thing. I think she got a Pinot Grigio though. Yeah, I got a Pinot Grigio. And last but not least, we got the juicy bread. Oh yeah.